Fewest COVID surges again across the country. Researchers at Intermountain Healthcare have discovered a treatment reducing severe illness and hospitalizations. Since December, they've been successfully treating high risk patients with monoclonal antibodies. New specialist Jed Ball shows us early treatment is the key. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, researchers discovered that treating high risk COVID 19 patients with monoclonal antibodies reduces the risk of severe illness and hospitalization by more than 50%. It also saves many lives. These products are most effective when targeted early in the course. Dr. Brandon Webb, the chair of the COVID Therapeutics Committee at Intermountain Healthcare, says monoclonal antibodies are an infusion-based treatment given to patients before hospitalization. The monoclonal antibodies are designed to stick to and neutralize the COVID-19 virus. They are patterned after the body's natural response to viruses, and they work best when given very early on in the symptom course when the impact of the virus is at its greatest. Within seven days of the onset of symptoms. Taken in the context of the current pandemic, these results are very encouraging. They um, emphasize that these truly are an important tool for treating patients early on as soon after their symptoms start. So getting tested when you have COVID symptoms is critical. The Intermountain study published in Open Forum Infectious Diseases gave monoclonal antibodies to 600 patients and compared them to a control group of several thousand. Only 1% has infusion related reactions of which the vast majority were minor. The treatment also kept high risk patients out of the hospital. Patients who are unvaccinated, who are at high risk, uh, and who are very early in their course are the patients who are most likely to get maximum benefit from monoclonal therapy. But Webb says the vaccine is still the ultimate tool against COVID-19. With the Delta variant surging, he says that researchers need more money in order to expand testing of treatments for high-risk patients. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.